recreate the dala on top of this unfinished painting. These lines were already in here. Not sure why. That was probably from something else. And I used this compass to draw this circle. Okay, so this is the dinosaur tail. And this is the color tree. Now it's time for the swooping line. And we'll just swoop it like that. I'm starting off directly in ink. I'm not going to be drawing this in pencil first. See this line? I don't know if you can see it in the video because it's very light pencil. It's curving this way. And all it, it appears that all of my dinosaur kale are going this way. But my collards are going that way. So I'm going to start with the collard. And I'm going to rip this off so that I can more easily see what's happening over there. on a night like this when I found a world of bliss in a garden in old color in the charm of someone's eyes all the world was paradise in the garden in old color ah the red lips like roses in splendor Somehow made me surrender a promise so true. And although we're far apart, still I know I left my heart in a garden in old Kalua.
Okay, these are also the dinosaur kale. I think I might just paint that in before I do anything else, just, just to see what's happening. Because up here, I might want to leave that empty and then draw something over there. Let's see. That's it for the drawing part of this. The collard is more of a warm green than the dinosaur kale. Since this is such a diluted mixture, I'm going to paint the whole thing in and then darken the leaves. This pure red sable brush that I'm using appears to be as floppy as squirrel hair, which I've grown to like. Having to handle this brush a little differently because it doesn't spring back. It's always good to try something new. Oh, it was on a night like this when I found a world of bliss in a garden in old Calhoun. In the charm of someone's eyes, all the world was paradise in the garden, in old Kalua. Ah, the red lips like roses in splendor somehow made me surrender a promise so true. And although we're far apart, Till I know I left my heart in a garden in old Kalua. And I'm making sure that I'm pulling the puddle. There's not much of a puddle here, but there we go, it's a better puddle, so that I don't end up with a streak. And I'll tip paper just a little bit to make sure that my puddle is running down and not running back into the wash. Normally, I'm turning the book around and around, but because I'm filming this, I don't want to move the book too much. So it's a little bit harder for me to paint in along the angles Instead of pulling all the time, I'm going in a different direction, but I'm working quickly so that it won't dry. I'm applying this a little bit thinner so that you can see the ink lines through it. I was a little bit heavy-handed with the paint in the bottom section down here. But I also wanted it to be a good, strong dark. When you're laying a wash down in a continuous area, you really don't want to have to stop to mix up new paint. That's where you end up with streaks in places that you don't really want them to be. Okay, so even, even though the veining is lighter on the collard green, I'd like to play back and forth with it, so I'm going to make the veining here darker so that it can play with the patterns over here. Now here, right here, this is where our swooping line was different. And now that I see that, I think I'm just going to change that. I'm going to change that with the pen. 
I was going to make that a different color, but I don't think I will. Now I'm got, not going to make the veining quite as blue-green as it is over here. Once the paper is wet, you can charge that wetness with paint and it will easily spread to the other areas. Okay, I think now all I'm going to do is ink this outer circle. And for this, I do have to turn the book. Oh, it was on a light like this. Okay, I think that's done. Thank you.